So I've got the turbocharger ordered up for this pit bike. Um, in case you are unfamiliar with the world's smallest turbo, I think it's the world's smallest turbo anyways, but it's called a VZ21. Go ahead and look it up. Uh, they're pretty cool. Um, anyways, I got that ordered for this. I already got the 26 millimeter carburetor on here. I just installed it for now just so I can ride it whenever I need to. Um, and then I got the plates, um, these special plates to clock the, um, I got two of them. They're, they're ordered as well so I can clock the turbo and clock the carburetor to however I want it because when I install this the idea is I want it to you know kind of look factory but aftermarket at the same time I just want it to be a clean install in other words as you can see I'm going to try and utilize the um, old intake manifold as well and right now I'm just kind of playing around with these um, this is the this is the oil plate that attaches to um, the it's for an oil cooler but I'm going to use it for the turbocharger um, this one I actually have this in the wrong hole right now. This one is going to go up here because that's where the, the oil pressure is. It comes up through that gallery. And I believe this one is the drain, feedback drain uh, to the crankcase. Um, so I'm going to only utilize one of these to pressurize oil to the turbocharger and block off this one. Um, the reason I'm going to do that is because I want um, as much oil pressure going to the turbo and to the camshaft at the same time as I can possibly get. And... Um, Blocking this off will keep the oil pressurized in the top end right here. And the oil feedback um, drain for the um, uh, turbocharger, I'm going to dump somewhere into the case, probably drill a hole somewhere over here. And I will tap a fitting into there, and then I will restrict the fitting. And the reason I'm going to do that is, once again, I want oil pressure to everything in the top end for the camshaft and the turbo to get um, pressurized. So... This will be, I guess, part one. If you guys are interested, the turbo is on the way. It should probably be here sometime this week. And uh, I'll start fabricating the exhaust and everything. I'm going to use an old 400EX head pipe and cut it up and use that. And uh, we'll see where this goes. So if you guys are interested, keep following along.